When researching complex ideas like quantum physics, breakthroughs are few and far between, but sometimes it takes something so simple to make the difference. Today, I'm here at the Centre for Mathematical Sciences at Cambridge to meet my friend, Dr. Thorsten Wahl, whose research breakthrough came through simple Lego bricks. So let's go a little bit further back then, you know, Moneybird localization and Cambridge and your current research. Um, what initially piqued your interest in quantum physics and, you know, in this discipline generally? Yeah, so what I found so exciting about quantum physics is that it's like, it's so different from everyday life physics. So in, at the end of the 19th century, people thought they had pretty much understood everything and science was pretty much a done thing. Until in the beginning of the 20th century, so many like exciting effects were discovered, which are completely at odds what people believed in in the past. And quantum physics was to a large extent responsible for that. So, and I just like how um, incredible things happen on the fundamental level, which is so different from what we would imagine normally, like that one particle is able to go through two slits at the same time and re-interfere with itself afterwards. And that's why I wanted to pursue an um, academic career in quantum physics, just because I found it so exciting to have these very counterintuitive effects and um, to do some research in that area. Uh, so let's begin with why is this research so important? Yeah, so my research is relevant on a fundamental level because it challenges the laws of thermodynamics as they have been in place for around 150 years. Thermodynamics become meaningless for the kinds of systems I'm studying. So um, the effect I study, many body localization, might become relevant to actually revise the laws of thermodynamics. And on the other hand, it's not only fundamentally important, it might also become technologically relevant to make quantum computers more robust to, to temperature. So at the moment, so quantum computers are much more powerful than classical computers. So companies are putting a lot of effort into building quantum computers, but at the moment they're fairly small. And in order to scale them up, one would need to make them more stable to, uh, to temperature, finding temperature effects. And this might be possible with the effect I'm studying. 